Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be breaking down the new Joker look in Zack Snyder's Justice League, which is coming very soon in March. So Vanity Fair got an exclusive. We're going to be breaking down the photos and going over the scene that he's going to be in in the film. So we got a lot of details. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCEU videos later this year. So with Justice League coming with the Snyder Cut version of it being released in March, they are teasing even more and we were expecting a better look at Jared Leto's Joker very soon and we've got the official look just today. So in this interview, Zack Snyder reveals that Joker's appearance in Justice League in this new version is a conversation between Joker and Batman during a new nightmare sequence. So this is just one scene, I believe, and from reading through the interview, and we'll break it down in a minute, he's going to be appearing in more scenes, but this is going to be the main scene, and we've got a lot of descriptions. But first off, before we get into the scene, Let's go over the look. So, as you can see on the screen here right now, you've got our first look at Jared Leto's Joker. He doesn't have the tattoos on the face. It seems like his hair is different, it's a bit longer, and it seems a bit more kind of like a serial killer kind of vibe to me. And obviously this is in black and white, so he's got the face paint on, he's got the red lipstick and everything like that. I presume his hair is still green. I don't know because it's black and white. However, I like this look a lot better, and I think it's good that Zack wasn't actually scared to actually change the look, because I think the look in Suicide Squad wasn't the best in my opinion, and this new look definitely is sort of out of a nightmare, and it kind of makes sense, because this is going to be a nightmare scene as he has teased. So this is the second photo that they released, and so you can see the room here, this is taken actually by Zack, like with his own camera, and you see him sort of all dirty up. He does have shoes on. They look like quite nice shoes, so that's a bit strange compared to his upper appearance because it's all raggedy and sort of torn, and it looks like he's in Arkham Asylum or somewhere because he looks absolutely broken down. And so, yeah, very creepy, but let's go ahead and go into the details as to this scene. So, Vanity Fair goes on to say, Gone are the face tattoos and the slick back emerald undercut hairstyle of the Suicide Squad movie, replaced by a visage that looks like a creature who crawled out of the basement of a long abandoned insane asylum. Maybe he did. Leto is wearing a hospital gown and a surgical mask in the photos Snyder released to them. In some of his Justice League scenes, Leto's Joker also sports a bulletproof vest fashioned with grimy law enforcement badges. He has tons of badges, Snyder said, those are his trophies. So that is the actual teaser for more scenes. So that means we're not just going to see him in this one costume in this nightmare scene. He's actually going to have extra scenes because Zack's brought him in. I guess he wants to use him as much as possible. Have Joker face off against Batman because that was, you know, his whole intention as we're going to get into. But he teases that he's going to have a different costume. He's going to have a bulletproof vest, which is going to be fashioned with grimy law enforcement badges as his trophies and then they go on to say spoiler warning so this is the actual scene this is the details that have been revealed so joker appears in the new film during a sequence set on a ruined earth after the alien tyrant dark side invades and decimates the planet the dream sequence is a psychic vision experienced by ben affleck's batman that reveals what will happen if the superheroes fail to stop the onslaught Joker is the sort of ghost of Christmas yet to come, supplying motivation through terror. So that is very interesting because they literally drop the whole scene. Like, the whole scene is a dream sequence, it's this nightmare vision, and Ben Affleck's Batman is going through this. He sees Joker in it, and he sees, kind of like in Batman vs Superman, when he sees the Omega sign, he basically realizes what is going to happen if they fail to slot the onslaught. And so this is like a different version of that original nightmare scene from Batman vs Superman. And Joker is going to appear in this new scene, which is set after Darkseid has arrived and decimated the planet. And so this isn't in reality. And I'm wondering if the other scene that I just talked about with the, you know, bulletproof fest and everything, is that going to be in real time or is that going to be a dream sequence? I'm presuming some of his scenes are going to be in real life and they're not all going to be in a dream sequence but this bit is in a dream sequence and so he's basically warning him 
what's to come. And so Zack goes on to say the cool thing about the scene is that it's Joker talking directly to Batman about Batman. It's Joker analysing Batman about who he is and what he is. That's the thing I also felt fans deserve from the DC Universe. That is to say that Jared Leto's Joker and the Ben Affleck's Batman that they never actually got together and it seemed uncool to me that we could make it all the way through this incarnation of Batman and Joker without them actually coming together. So that's Zack's intention, you know, he really wanted a scene where you have Batman and Joker coming face to face because we've never seen these two versions of the character actually coming face to face in the DCEU. And so Snyder goes on to say, The scene also explains why Bruce had the Joker card taped to his gun that you see in Batman v Superman which also hinted that Joker murdered the Cape Crusader psychic Robin with his armor showing up and saying, ha ha, jokes on you, Batman. That's what Joker like spray painted on it. And so Zack goes on to continue and he's talking about Joker and specifically Robin here. He says, I'd always wanted to explore the death of Robin, Snyder says. And if there was ever going to be a next movie, which of course there probably won't be, I wanted to do a thing where in flashbacks we could learn how Robin died, how Joker killed him and burned down the Wayne Manor, and that whole thing that happened between he and Bruce. The director's plan was to show how they became like this and how he hurt him in the way he did like no one else has really. Other than losing his parents, it probably was the most significant personal injury to his life. So it seems like Zack, if he ever made a Justice League 2, was totally going to get into the Robin stuff. And so this is him actually revealing what he would have done. So this could potentially show up at some point if he ever comes back and makes another DCEU film because he wants to explore the death of Robin. And he states that if there was going to be that next film, he would have done this all through flashbacks showing how Joker killed him. You would have seen a scene where he is actually killing him, how Joker spray painted that message, which is now iconic saying, ha ha, jokes on you, Batman and they would have explored the whole thing that happened between Joker and Batman. But that is about it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was informative and yeah, kind of crazy. I really wanted to make a video on this. I don't always make that many DCEU videos, but if you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. This is of intrigue and we're totally going to be covering some more Snyder Cut stuff as we head towards its March premiere date. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.